Hey, what's up everyone? Fat Man Snack Reviews back again here for another review video. I apologize in advance. It's been a while since I reviewed something. So, um, yeah, I'm very sorry for kind of lagging on it and stuff. Just been busy with work and just, you know, being outside. Haven't been home, like, as frequently as um, I was beforehand. So, I apologize in advance for that. So, today, as the title reads, I'm going to be reviewing some Japanese style green tea mochi balls so um, this is actually by Yuki and Love um, got this at the you know like a regular oriental market so the autofocus um, don't know if this is like premium stuff or whatever um, as you all know it really depends on what kind of brand you're eating um, but yeah for the most part it looks pretty good I guess so um, yeah that's basically it <laughs> Um, nutrition facts, uh, I don't know if you guys will even find it in your area, uh, but go ahead and try a Oriental Market and see if you guys find it. But, um, this is product of Taiwan. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, it's by Yuki and Love. Um, don't know brands and stuff. So, but, uh, I actually bought this for $2, so we'll just see if it's any good. Um, this is my first time actually trying mochi balls as well. So, um, yeah, I'll be honest and stuff if it's nasty. So there you go, there's the packaging. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it looks pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> it looks actually authentic, um, for the most part, at least. You know, there's, like, sometimes it's, like, manufactured, manufactured and distributed in whatever, in the States. Sometimes it's not even, you know, like, it's just, like, basically third party, in a way. But, um, here we have three mochi balls. Let me go ahead and grab this one. Let's go ahead and, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. It looks different in person. It looks more yellow in uh, the camera and stuff. But uh, it's actually green. Um, there's, like, some, it looks like dough, maybe? Uh, that's, like, frosted on it or whatever. So, let's go ahead and take a bite. Itadakimasu. Very chewy. Wow, very chewy. And, um, right now I try to swallow it and uh, kind of got stuck to the roof of my mouth for some reason. But um, let's see. I'm trying to figure it out what kind. Um, if you guys ever went to any Oriental markets, uh, the dough. It's kind of same as it's kind of like the same consistency of like it looks like kind of like not really like pie but it's like pudding, but it's like kind of thick. So that's the same consistency as the mochi ball. Um, for the flavor, yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Um, you can tell it tastes like some tea, some herbal kind of uh, has a herbal taste to it. Not bad actually. Um. Yeah, it's just very kind of doughy and stuff, very sticky. Um, like I said, I almost it actually got stuck on the roof of my mouth. So, <clears throat> so for the most part, it's pretty sticky. But um, let me try just like the middle. As you can see, look at this. It's just like very doughy and stuff. <clears throat> so, okay, for the middle part, it's more or less like. The, the texture is just like more hard, in, if anything. Um, if you guys ever ate some like tamarind candy from like flea markets and stuff, <clears throat> there's the same consistency of, that, consistency of that, but it's just not, you know, like jam packed full of flavor. So um, let's go and try some of the dough part. Very jelly like, but yeah, I can't really explain. I never tried this, so. For the most part, it's pretty good. Um, and the end kind of tastes like uh, the dough, like the white part, the white portion uh, covered in it. You know, it doesn't really do much. It just, it probably is just there to make it go down. So, um, yeah, for the most part, I get this a 3 out of 5. This is very, this is very doughy and stuff, so. Not used to eating stuff like this. Not like I'm. Um, talking smack about it, I'm just saying do we, don't really eat anything like this on a regular basis basically so it gets a 3 out of 5 
I would kind of just check it out to see if um, you kind of like it. <clears throat> like I said, it was like $2. Um, it's probably cheap because they imported whatever, like uh, in a large quantity. That's why they can afford to actually uh, sell for cheap. So uh, once again, it's um, you can love Japanese style green tea mochi balls. So um, yeah, that's basically it. <clears throat> I give it a 3 out of 5. So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys later. I actually have on <clears throat> some imported KitKat green tea bars. Well, it's actually mini bars, whatever. It's only like two sticks per pack. So this actually costs no joke six dollars. Um, most likely because it's imported. <laughs> so I believe there's 24 sticks in here. Don't know, I haven't opened it yet, so you guys have to stay tuned. So, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys later.